You're welcome to this part of the lesson. This is Light Academy, Primary School. Uh, we shall be presenting some lessons. Some shall be for revision and some of them shall be for new work that was not completed in term one. So I'm going to present a lesson in primary six and it will be presented by Teacher Robert. I'm going to talk about uh, consecutive numbers. Of course, when we talk about the term consecutive, it can be used to mean a list of numbers that are repeated one after the other without skipping any number, following their right order. That is being consecutive. So I will go straight and talk about consecutive counting numbers. You remember in primary five, we must have talked about what we are calling the prime, I mean uh, counting numbers, I'm sorry, counting numbers, and we said these are natural numbers that we always use in counting. For example, numbers like one, two, three, four, five, six, and very many others. Those numbers in their right order, when you don't skip them, we call them consecutive counting numbers. Someone could ask a question, how do we get the counting numbers? What is the order? Assuming I'm having the first counting number, how do I get the next counting number? So the logic here is one, the counting numbers keep on increasing by an addition of one to the first number. For example, assuming I say the first counting number First counting number, the first counting number is equal to one. It is obvious it is one. Definitely to get the next number, this is the first one. Uh, let me just write it as the first, the first counting number. If it is one, of course the second counting number the second counting number the second counting number shall be gotten by adding one to the one which I'm already having so I will say it is one plus another one that gives me the second counting number as two okay if I want to get the third counting number third counting number third counting number the third counting number shall be gotten by adding one to the number which I'm already having. The number which I have before is number two. So to get the third counting number, I will simply say two plus one. And the answer I will get will be three. Therefore, the third counting number becomes three. So that one applies to all other numbers if you want to get some other counting numbers. However, in primary six, this method might take us a lot of time to get very many numbers, consecutive counting numbers. But in primary six, we shall get a format of getting these consecutive counting numbers. I can actually give some examples here. For example, I can say, there is a question. There are very many questions that can be said about finding consecutive counting numbers. For example, let me use this example here and we go over it to see how best we can get these consecutive counting numbers. The first question here I've written says the sum, the sum of three consecutive consecutive about three consecutive counting numbers counting numbers is 36 then they say find it and find these numbers find these numbers our dear learners this is the question the first question i'm having the question says the sum of the three consecutive counting numbers is 36. find these numbers of course they they are saying in the question 
there are three counting numbers of which right now I cannot tell which one is the first one, the second one, and the third one. But I'm going to guide you over getting these consecutive numbers as per the question. In the first place, the first number would assist us to get the second number. And the second number would help us to get the third number. But since I don't know the first number, I'm going to say, let me assume that the first number is given a certain letter name. For example, I can say, let, let the first number, let the first number, let the first number be, for example, N. I've used a letter N to stand for the first number, which I don't know. But since we already said, since we already said that to get the consecutive counting numbers, you go on adding one to the first number which you read have. For example, now I'm adding the first one as A. Therefore, to get the second counting number, I will simply say A plus one. So I will say now, since the first one is N, the second number, the second number, the second number shall be gotten by saying the first one which are called n plus one. Okay? Now, since they are three, I've already gotten one, the first one, I've got the second, I'm going to the third. So I will simply come and say the third. So we shall say the third. The third number shall be equal to, we shall say n plus 2. We are simply adding 1 to the first number. The first one was n. Since it was the first one, to get the second one, I say the n, which was the first one, plus 1 more other. Then to get the third one, I simply say it. The next number, I'll simply say n plus 2. So this one gives me an order of three numbers. Therefore, I will come and I form up an additional statement. Because they are saying the sum of the three consecutive counting numbers, when I add all of them, three as they are, n plus this one plus this one, their sum, which is the total, must be 36. Therefore, I will simply come and I say, I form, I will simply come and form a general statement, additional statement. I will say n, we shall say n plus n plus 1 plus n plus 2. These ones should give me a total which is the sum as in 36. Okay? So this is what I formed as a general additional statement. Therefore, I'm simply going to collect the like terms. Simply pick out the end, put them together, the numbers also put them together. So we shall come and say, this is n plus n plus n plus 1 plus 2, which gives us a total as a 36. So from there, we shall come n plus n plus n, those are 3 n. So we shall have this one as 3n plus when you add 1 plus 2, the answer is 3, which is equal to 36, as the total which was already given. Therefore, I've formed up an equation. What am I supposed to do in this case? I'm supposed to collect the like terms. So we shall come and say this is 3n plus 3 take away 3, which is equal to 36, take away 3. So from there, allow me to read this one. This one. We shall continue with our working. So when I subtract 3 from 3, the answer gotten is a 0. Therefore, I'm left with 3n. This is a 3n, which is equivalent to when I subtract 3 from 36, I get this one as 33. Therefore, from here, 
I'm supposed to get the value of the letter, which is letter N. So I will simply come and say 3N is equal to 33. But I want to get the value of N alone. What do I do? I divide on either side by 3. The other side by 3. By factor 3 once, by factor 3 once. When I give 33, I'm assuming these ones are apples. When I give 33 apples to three children, this is once, each one gets 11. Therefore, n shall be equal to 11, like that. So since we say at the start that the first number is n, and in our answer here, we've just gotten to see it that n is equivalent to 11. Therefore, the first number is 11. So from there, we shall go back to what we used at the start and form up the real numbers. So since the first one, you can simply say therefore, the first number, which is n, is equivalent to 11. So the second one, the second number, the second number, which is gotten as n plus 1. We shall add it as 11 plus 1, giving us this is 12. Okay? Then the third one, the third number, we shall get it from the other expression where we say n plus 2, giving us n is already 11 plus 2. We shall have this one as being equal to 13. Therefore, I've got three numbers now. I've got 11 as the first number. I've got the 12 as the second number. I've got 13 as the third number. You can simply see that these numbers are repeating one another minus keeping it on. Because from 11, you go to 12, then you go to 13. So, this is one of the examples that can help us understand how to get the consecutive counting numbers. Yes, I would also like to draw attention of our learners. I will give them some quick expression, just one number, they try it out before the other numbers. I can give some example to here that I would like our learners to try out. Example two would be attempted by our learners. Uh, the question say, find Robert. Yes. Battery. Oh. Yeah. did not tell me that the battery was. Yes, ma'am. No, you can continue. Once you're ready for enough, I can get you. Is there any way you can connect this? Okay. But once you're ready, but I can get it. Okay. Uh, continue. Start from the above. Mm -hmm. Where are you? Just continue, yes. number two. Okay, it's okay. So the second question I was giving is this the question say, find, find the three consecutive counting numbers counting numbers whose sum whose, whose total is 21 so our numbers don't, don't get confused these words are real the same. If I talk about sum, it's the same as addition. When I talk about total, it is the same as addition. So in the first question, they use the word sum. That when you added the three consecutive numbers, their sum was 36. But in the second question, a little bit, there is a change. We are not saying the word sum, but we are using the word total. So they are saying, find the three consecutive counting numbers whose total is 21. Meaning, when I get those numbers, when I add them, their total must be 
21. So this is the number for you to try out. I've not loved actually to go on and do it, but you'll have a chance and go for it before you do the main exercise. I think you will enjoy it, read it, understand it, and try it. And then we shall give some other piece of work and form of activity. Thank you so much for your attention.